killing machine. At this point, you'd have to be living under a rock to have not heard about Revenant Reborn. And now we've got even more interesting news regarding Revenant directly from the man, the myth, the legend, Thornton Smash, who has honestly been keeping us up to date with quite a bit of the interesting news coming to Apex Legends. And without him, honestly, Respawn would have their work cut out for them. But today we're going to be taking a look at something that could be hitting the Mythic store sooner rather than later. But first, if you enjoy the channel, how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now, we've definitely seen a lot of stuff regarding Revenant Reborn and what we can expect in terms of a launch bundle for Season 18. But what we haven't seen is much regarding what to expect for Mythic Stores and Heirloom Recolors. And it does look like there's a couple people coming together here as Thornton and Oz both seem to suggest that we will be seeing a Revenant Heirloom Recolor, which may fly in the face of what some people were hoping for when it came to the potential Mirage Heirloom Recolor that we've been hearing about as well. But when you really think about it, Revenant is being pushed pretty heavily and they're probably going to want to try and get as many people trying the new version of Revenant out more so than ever before. And what's a better way than to reintroduce a big item that people may want to get a hold of? Of course, when it comes to heirlooms, we only know of one other recolor and obviously looking at Wraith's heirloom and then potentially taking a look back at Revenant's heirloom, we could get an idea of what they could realistically do to make an heirloom recolor that people are not going to heavily complain about. As you know, we did see an issue with the reactive recolors, but when it came to the Hope's Dawn, people were a little bit more enthusiastic about this recolor, and it does add a bit of depth to the original Kunai, which could be quite a bit of flavor that could be added to Revenant's site. Now, obviously it's just going to be a textural overhaul to the weapon itself and probably some new animations that come in altogether. As you know, Revenant is again one of the characters who's kind of got a limited animation set as it was more recent that they really started to go off the charts with the heirloom animations and the character uh, emote animations as well as like finishers and stuff like that. It really was kind of a much more limited situation previously and now it's with a much larger team that they're able to pump out way more interesting stuff and there has been at least from what I've been able to gather a good chunk of changes coming to the way the game is expected to play and if you're watching and keeping up to date with Apex News in general, there is some massive changes coming to the game overall that will hopefully make the game a little bit better than it's ever been. But obviously everything should be taken with a grain of salt. As you know, this ranked season here in season 17 was supposed to be a huge overhaul that was going to make ranked great again. And it turned out to make ranked probably the worst it's ever been. It's kind of laughable in this regard because there was a season where, well, two seasons now prior to this one where people complained that it was too easy to get ranked, whether it had been the ability to actually leave matches and not lose RP, or if it was the season where you could just run out there and get a couple kills and get some, uh, you know, RP to level up. So it was quite an interesting debate, but now we definitely have a season where there is a very, very large population of players in Masters, and it takes almost no skill to generate points in Masters. And with that being said, you can always look at things like that and say, well, maybe the upcoming changes won't be that great and won't benefit the game as well as we'd like. Now, I'd like to believe that there's some good changes coming because there actually is a very significant engine overhaul coming to Apex Legends in the next few months. Well, I shouldn't say few months, but before the actual 
anniversary of Apex Legends rolls in, we will have an update to the game that's quite substantial that should also be along the lines of giving the 120 FPS to the next gen consoles, cross progression, some new menus and just stuff like that overall that you would expect to come with an engine update. But ideally, it could bring some very significant changes to the way the game is performing on some systems as well as potentially making it perform worse on other systems. So depending on what your PC build looks like and what console you're playing on, it could be devastating or it could be amazing. So for people on next gen, it'll probably be pretty awesome. But for the people on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, it might not be as good. So we'll, we'll keep you up to date on what's happening with that. But it's definitely a situation where the game is in flux quite heavily and we're going to be seeing a lot of changes over the next few seasons as well as some quite different takes on the game than we've ever seen before but i'd love to hear what you guys have to say so go ahead and leave a comment down below let me know your opinion on the concept of revenant getting an heirloom recolor this is clearly without a shadow of a doubt them trying to influence the pick rate of revenant when they do all these changes as well as continuously get people to try new things as who knows what tweaks they will end up doing before this actually gets released into the game to revenant even after he's been released because he could release and be you know extremely overpowered or he could release and be lackluster like he's kind of was when he first came out so it's going to be remain to be seen until the community gets a hold of the character how good he actually performs but uh, with people like Revengeful out in the world, it's quite possible that Revenant is still a staple because he is definitely a strong part of the lore and we should be seeing more with him in the future, especially with the whole Loba Valkyrie storyline progressing as well. But of course, guys, if you want to continue this conversation, then I highly suggest you check out the social media links. I'll put them up on the screen as well as in the description down below. Give them a like, a favorite, a follow, whatever you haven't done already, and it will be greatly appreciated as well as helping the channel out in an absolutely massive way. But it's been one unique situation after another these past few weeks as more and more information comes out about season 18 as well as just the end of season 17. And I will continue to keep you guys updated with everything I possibly can here as well as on Apex Minutes. Make sure you check that out. The link's in the description for 60 second videos. But here's another video you should check out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to check out any of the upcoming mythics if you don't stay safe, stay healthy. And as always, have a good one.